Hi everyone, Arnold here, SantaMuerteMagic.com. Thank you so much for tuning in. The topic of today's video is going to be how to incorporate the Santa Muerte into holiday celebrations. This is a topic that was suggested by a supporter on Patreon. So thank you for the suggestion and the support. I appreciate it. The question that was posed was essentially with Valentine's Day uh, around the corner, is it possible to incorporate the Santa Muerte into a Valentine's Day celebration? Uh, is it possible to incorporate Santa Muerte into other holiday celebrations? And if so, what might that look like? The first thing I'll say is that, uh, yes, it is absolutely possible to incorporate the Santa Muerte into a holiday celebration. And the reason why I say that is because of what Santa Muerte represents. As death itself, um, death does not take a day off. Death is a constant and ever-present fact of life, which remains with us even when we celebrate days that are special to us. So to incorporate the Santa Muerte into a holiday celebration would be nothing more than to acknowledge something that is already there. As far as for what that might look like, um, three main ideas come to mind. And you can implement these ideas individually or you can blend them based on your preferences. Um, but there are basically three ideas um, that I have for incorporating the Santa Muerte into your holiday celebrations. The first idea is to recite a novena prayer. A novena prayer is a prayer or a set of prayers usually recited over nine days, the nine days leading up to the holiday or the celebration. Um, and that are dedicated to the Santa Muerte. Uh, if you follow my website, you would have noticed that um, this past December, I published a nine-day novena prayer for uh, New Year's to say goodbye to 2020 and to welcome in 2021. Uh, that was a novena prayer of my own creation, and the, basically the reason why I wrote it was because um, there was nothing else like it that I could find that ticked all the boxes that I was looking to tick. Um, a lot of the Novena prayers which are available, if I'm not mistaken, uh, a Novena prayer, uh, the idea or the concept of the Novena prayer is a very Catholic idea. So a lot of the Novena prayers that are available incorporate a lot of Catholic imagery. I choose to... Uh, remove any Catholic imagery from my own devotion to Santa Muerte. Uh, so there weren't a lot of options uh, for what I wanted to accomplish, which is why I just decided to write my own novena prayer. You can definitely do that. Um, you can write your own prayer or set of prayers and then um, recite the appropriate prayers in the nine days up to... Uh, leading up to the celebration or the day that you are celebrating. You can reach out to me and ask me to, uh, to come up with a, a novena, a set of novena prayers uh, that you can recite for a special occasion. And uh, if you have nothing else, then you could always recite the Santa Muerte Rosary for um, f over nine days leading up to the day of celebration. So that's the first idea, essentially, um, to incorporate the Santa Muerte into your celebration, into your day of celebration, into the days leading up to the celebration, through the act of prayer. The second idea for incorporating Santa Muerte into your holiday celebrations is to create an altar, a special Santa Muerte altar, dedicated to the Santa Muerte, um, and which incorporates imagery and symbolism associated with the holiday you want to celebrate. So, the question that I received, which inspired this video, asked me specifically about Valentine's Day. 
using that as an example. Uh, Valentine's Day is a celebration of love. In the tradition of Santa Muerte, um, l love is associated with the color red. So one thing you might do is um, either build an altar if you don't already have one, or uh, decorate your current altar with imagery and symbolism uh, associated with Valentine's Day love. You could lay down a red altar cloth. You could burn red offering candles. You could drape your Santa Muerte figurine or the depiction of Santa Muerte on your altar. You could drape that in red fabric to represent a red cloak. If you don't have a red cloaked Santa Muerte already. You could uh, place offerings on the altar, which uh, are reminiscent of that Valentine's Day imagery. So you could leave uh, a rose or a dozen roses. Um, you could leave perhaps a box of chocolates or some sweets, um, as, as are commonly traded on Valentine's Day. Um, there are... Greeting cards, which are often traded by kids um, f that come out for Valentine's Day. You could leave uh, a few of those over the altar. So basically, um, build an altar just for, that, just for that holiday in order to mark the, um, the approach of that holiday and the celebration of that holiday. The third idea for incorporating the Santa Muerte into your holiday celebrations is to hold a feast day. Um, this is another um, very Catholic idea, the idea of a, a, a feast day for a particular saint. Uh, there are many saints in the Catholic tradition that have their own feast days. Um, November 1st, all Saints Day. Uh, this is considered a day of, of feast uh, that follows Halloween on the 31st of October. Um, but you could definitely incorporate a feast day into your holiday, whatever you're celebrating, especially if you already have, um, if you're already going to be hosting a feast. So something for like Thanksgiving or maybe in the holiday season, like a Christmas dinner. Um, Whatever you do that brings people together, um, especially if there's going to be a sharing of food involved, you could easily incorporate the Santa Muerte. Uh, you could leave a space at the table for open for the Santa Muerte. You could place her imagery upon that area. You could serve her a small plate of food as an offering uh, from the food that is being shared. And you can um, pray over the meal uh, in such a way that invites Santa Muerte into the space to share the meal with you and any loved ones that might be around. So those are essentially my three main ideas for incorporating the Santa Muerte into your holiday celebrations. Uh, the first is the recitation of a novena prayer over um, nine days or to recite the prayer a specific prayer nine times on the special day. The second idea is to uh, build a special holiday altar, a special holiday Santa Muerte altar that incorporates imagery and symbolism of the day that you're celebrating. And the third idea is to host a, a feast day, a day of feast, um, where you can, you can share a, a meal or a bounty with um, the Santa Muerte and any loved ones that, that you might want to invite. And also, by the way, there's nothing wrong with having a, a solo feast day. You don't need to have a whole lot of people around. Um, a feast day doesn't have to be more than you or your closest loved ones. So uh, hopefully I've explained everything clearly. I've, hopefully I've given you a few good ideas. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, as always, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me through the website. Uh, there's also the Discord chat server and the Patreon messenger system. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time. Bye.